Hi guys, this is Grivelly again with another product review and today we're going to have a look at something special, a special edition pen and the pen is called Kaweco AL Sport Night Edition, which is essentially a AL Sport, Kaweco Sport, that is all black, but more on that in a minute. The pen, as said, is a special edition, so it is only available on mostwanted-pens.com. You do not get that from any other seller or distributor normally. You don't even get it from Kaweco directly. Kaweco partnered with mostwanted-pens.com, so you get that pen only there. Um, let's have a look at the packaging, which as the pen is all black, also the packaging is kept in all black. Um, Kaweco GmbH, Germany, says most wanted pens here. The partner, box is made in China. The same information is here. And then we have the Kaweco and Most Wanted Pens logo on both sides of the box. You slide that box out or that cardboard wrapping thing and out comes a aluminium or metal whatever black box. As said, the black box matches the black pen with a Kaweco three syllable logo on top of it. Some grooves here, also sort of anthracite down here that probably makes a nice you know, small pencil box or something. However, it is probably a bit short for pencils, yes, but you can use that for whatever. You open the box and you get, you know, the usual Kaweco pen information that comes with all the other Kaweco pens as well, filling instructions. You get a small, nice little Kaweco sticker, which is nice, and then you get, um, in my case here, a pack of pearl black ink cartridges, which makes sense. Black box, black ink, black pen, right? And then that was the one, also a black cartridge that was provided with the pen, but I filled my pen with a squeeze converter and another ink, um, which I'm going to show you in a minute. So now on to the pen. As said, the pen itself, first of all, it's a Kaweco Sport, looks just like a regular Kaweco Sport Classic. That one here is plastic, is the green one. Uh, classic Sport, of course, with some gold, uh, gold accents and all that. But essentially, it is an AL Sport. So it also, of course, looks like an AL Sport. You see, it's exactly the same shape, shape exactly the same size and all that. Um, now, the AL Sport comes in a number of different colors. This here, the regular AL Sport, so to speak. This here is the anthracite one. Um, it also comes in light blue, uh, I think, dark blue and then it also does come in black but the regular AL Sport that does come in black has all the accents here in whitish has that here in silver and also the nib will be silver with that regular AL Sport in black not to be mistaken now this special edition here is kept in all black there is a also a special price to that one. That one costs around 100 euro, or pretty much exactly 100 euro. I think it costs exactly 100 euro. And the regular AL Sports cost 55 to 60 euro. So it's almost double the price for the special edition Stealthy Pen. Up to you to decide whether the design element is worth it to you. Otherwise, it's pretty much exactly the same pen. As to the pen itself, of course, the very classy, octagonal, iconic, Kaweco Sport shape here on, on, on the barrel or the cap, so to speak. And then the whole barrel is in a aluminium, of course. It's an AL Sport Night Edition. And then it's an anodized aluminium, <clears throat> coated and anodized alu al aluminium. And you see the first special touch here is like you almost can't see the Kaweco AL Sport German here. Only if I angle the pen into a very certain direction or angle into the light otherwise this pen really is totally stealthy you can't see anything at times i really have to search for that kaweco laser engraving myself the pen is first laser engraved then it's coated afterwards and then it is anodized so that that black here should really stay then the finial here is also the Kaweco logo that you have on the regular AL Sports, apart from also being black, but this is not a made black, this is actually a shiny, quite glossy black, and I think you can see that here. I hope the camera picks that up. Yes, it does. When we open the pen, also the nib, bock nib, that is a bock nib, is also 
black. This is also the same shiny, rather glossy black than you have here at the top of the cap. I got an extra fine here and it looks just as all the other Caveco nibs also do, do look. Um, with the Caveco logo on here, some scroll work, it's a rather small nib and as said extra fine. Feet down here, open the pen like this. I filled my pen with orange because uh, I think black and orange is also quite nice. Color combination, um, orange is the new black as they say. And uh, I filled it with the Caveco squeeze converter. I usually fill that converter here with a syringe because like with the squeeze action, I don't get a full fill. But of course you can use any standard international short cartridge. With that pen, close it like this. Some people have asked me already when I posted pictures of that pen on Instagram, if that black coating will stay on the pen or not. Uh, honestly, I can't really give you an informed opinion on that because I do keep the pen because I'm worried that it might chip off or whatever, but I'm not sure about that. I keep the pen in this small Caveco leather pen sleeve here. This is essentially not made for the Caveco Sport. I think there's also a pen sleeve for the Caveco Sport. That here is made for the Caveco Lilliput. So I just, you know, like extended that, you know, leather living material just like adapts to its shape and stuff like that. So I just put it in here. I find that shorter sleeve for the Caveco Lilliput quite nice because like that end here will still stick out a little bit and it's very easy for me to grab the pen and just slide it out of that pouch like that. So that's what I use, how I carry that pen. But um, you see here on those grew on those here, you see here is some on the, on those threads here, there is some silverish stuff peeking through. Um, now I'm not sure if that was like that from the beginning or if that has happened in the course of capping and uncapping the pen. I'm sorry, I can't tell you anything about that, but I just wanted to show you that. Uh, size comparison, of course, the Caveco Sport is a pocket pen, so it's a rather short pen. Here's my standard reference pen, Alami Safari. So you can see this is capped, is a fairly short pen. Uh, it's supposed to be a short pen, as I said, pocket pen, uncapped, of course still short. I can use that pen un unposted um, for short notes, right? I mean, that works. Now the Safari is a perfectly acceptable, comfortable size for me. Um, I can use that as said for note taking, but for longer sessions or generally for writing, I just like to prefer, uh, I just prefer to use that pen posted and when the pen is posted it's a perfectly nice balanced comfortable writing size that is about the length of a Lamy Safari even a little bit longer uh, really nice thing of course about this you heard it right now about this octagonal shape is that the pen won't do this right it won't roll away because the flat surfaces will just keep the pen on your table or on the desk which is really nice we have a fairly short section those threads are not very sharp you you can feel them, but not a lot. They are not very sharp, as said. So, flares out a little bit down here. Very comfortable to hold. The last thing for us to do is a writing sample. And that pen now does not write really any different from all the other Caveco Sport pens. Uh, apart from it, now it write out a little bit in the course of the review. Oh, that happens sometimes. Now it starts up again. Um, so we have the Caveco Sport, there's an AL Sport, and then this is the special edition called Night Edition. With an extra fine nib. Ink, I think, is, uh, it should be Caveco set orange, probably. Um, not a very... Not a very, very wet writer. I would say it's an average, average wetness when it comes to writing. And then the nib is pretty rigid. I would say it's probably a little bit more rigid than the other Caveco nibs. Not sure if that has to do with the coating or not, but I find it a bit more rigid. Well, that's that with the review of that Caveco AL Sport Night Edition pen. I really, really enjoy this stealthy made black look. Very, very nice, looks very unique. Um, is it worth the extra 
40 euro or almost double the price of a regular uh, all-star that's up to you to decide as said i find it's a really nice pen i hope that review was useful to you don't forget you can get that pen only on most wanted mind uh, most wanted minus pens.com not from any other seller as said hope the review was useful to you and i'll see you at the next review bye bye